Folks, you can see my next guest in his own stand-up comedy special, which airs Thursday night at 9.30 on Showtime. Please welcome the very funny Patrice O'Neill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, it's fantastic how New York bounced back, right? New York's back, you know what I mean? We're back to normal. The way it should be, right? Yeah. You know, I know New York uh, is back to normal. Um, a couple of weeks ago, a woman just got uh, pushed in front of the train for the first time in um, about 10 months, which means that the city's getting back to, <laughs> the, you know, the way it should be. You know what I mean? It, people just walking around too depressed to kill. I, 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 I'm. <laughs> Until finally, some dude just said, I, you know, I, 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 I can't take this no more. I gotta. I gotta kill somebody. I gotta put somebody in front of the train because that's what I do. If I don't kill somebody, then they win. Thank you for clapping murder. Thank you. <laughs> I feel bad for white guys now. They can't be racist no more. White guys can't be racist. You gotta walk around not being racist, you know, political correctness. I, I, that's white guys now. I, 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 I don't want to be. Uh, are you racist, sir? Well, I know. I, I, I'm, I'm walking through Harlem and I'm, I'm a little nervous and I see a few black guys coming towards me, but I, I can't run because they'll call me a racist if I start run. Run, stupid. Get, get home. Feel guilty. But be alive. If I'm in Kentucky, <laughs> if I'm in Kentucky and I see, if I see five bald white dudes walking towards me, I'm running. I ain't gonna wonder if they got cancer. I'm a, I'm not gonna go, oh, jeez. I don't care if they're coughing and limping. I'm not, uh, dude, why you gonna run? We're coming from chemotherapy class. I'm, uh, that's okay. I'm not going over there. I'm not falling for the old cancer, hang a nigga trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm telling you, man, don't let people guilt you into death, man. I, like, I'm, paranoid. I'm paranoid about going to prison for something I didn't do. And, um, and uh, like, white women make me very, very nervous. And not, not right now, because it's witnesses, but I'm talking about at, <laughs> at night, if you know, she's walking by herself up the street, and I'm, you know, she can be nervous. I'm a big dude, so she could be like, oh, gee, you know. Big black guy coming towards me. Hope he you know, getting that fantasy cologne. Hope he doesn't grab me with his big black arms. And... <laughs> Hope he doesn't do something to me. I'm thinking the same thing. Like, oh, gee. <laughs> Hope nobody kills this white woman because I'm gonna get blamed for it. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why uh, I, I always uh, keep an alibi. I collect receipts. Um, <laughs> Because it's a time, it's a place, it's, you know, where I've been. And I never go more than a half hour without buying something because <laughs> you can kill somebody in 15 minutes. You need an alibi. So every 15 minutes, I buy something, a stick of gum. A, uh, can, I, can I get a stick of gum, please? And can I get the receipt? And uh, <laughs> sometimes it's a trouble. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have receipts for gum, my friend. Well, I mean, I need a receipt, man. My, I don't have re the receipt costs more than the gun. Please leave my store, my friend. <laughs> then if it's like that, I gotta make sure I at least argue with him so that he remembers, you know. <laughs> Give me my receipt, jackass! Well, screw you! Screw you too! What time is it? 5.15! <laughs> you are in my store messing with me at 5.15! You are not killing someone at 5.15 because you're messing with me. All right, thanks a lot. See y'all later. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That was great. Thanks, man. Patrice O'Neill, everybody. Hilarious. Take a break. We'll be right